SeaWorld has been going freaking nuts with their coaster additions across the chain. As we know, every single major SeaWorld park, which includes the two Busch Gardens parks, is getting a brand new major roller coaster for 2020. Before we knew much about Pantheon at Busch Gardens Williamsburg though, we were already seeing filings for a new attraction of some sort which appears to be a massive giga coaster for the park for 2021. Well now, there are rumors about SeaWorld Orlando also receiving a brand new roller coaster for the 2021 season, right after receiving the premier launch shuttle coaster Icebreaker for 2020. In this video, I'm going to go over what we know and try to look at speculation we've been hearing revolving around these filings by SeaWorld Orlando, shared online by Coaster Kings. I will also discuss an interesting theory I have about this and how it could tie into another development in the industry we've been hearing about. On January 16th, Coaster Kings posted this entry on their website. SeaWorld Orlando filed a permit on January 13th for site work, which apparently is the very first part of any construction project. Coaster Kings were able to request and get a hold of demolition plans outlined by the park as part of this site work filing. From this demolition plan, we know the code name for this project, Penguin. Coaster Kings provided this great overhead map showing the area of the park that would get demolished. This includes the path between Bayside Stadium and the Dolphin Nursery close to the front of the park, as well as some of the path and roadway outside of the park parameters. According to this, the area in question is roughly 3.6 acres, which is a pretty good sized chunk of land that you could really do something grand with. Kraken, the B&M floorless coaster at the park, sits on 4 acres of land as a good comparison point. Now, many people seem to think these demolition plans support an upgrade to the main entrance, which would make a lot of sense. This has contributed to the increasingly popular rumor of a B&M wing coaster being placed on this land, something similar to what Cedar Point did with their front entrance and gatekeeper greeting guests as they enter the park. Carowinds also got a nice upgrade to their front gate with Fury 325 as well. I want to reiterate that all of these ideas are pure speculation at this point, and there is nothing known for sure about what SeaWorld Orlando will actually be adding. All we currently have to go on are these demolition plans. So we know this whole front section is basically just getting demolished, which definitely supports the theory of a front gate revamp. However, this does not guarantee a new roller coaster in any way. With that being said, given the current history of SeaWorld as a chain, I would really not be surprised at all to see a major coaster being added to this park in 2021. The company has also had a strong relationship with B&M, so seeing something like a wing coaster by B&M would certainly fit this park well, I think. They currently have three very solid B&Ms, the Floorless Coaster Kraken, the Flying Coaster Manta, and the Hyper Coaster known as Mako. Adding a wing coaster by B&M certainly would be a welcome addition and not surprising for me whatsoever. Let me tell you something I would find surprising, however. That is, if B&M were to introduce a new style of wing seating for this potential new coaster, which flips you forwards and backwards as you traverse the course. That's right. People are throwing around the idea of the speculated B&M wing coaster, also essentially borrowing from 4th dimension coasters like X2 and featuring spinning seats. That would be absolutely insane. And this is where that theory of mine, which I mentioned earlier, comes into play. We have known for some time that B&M, Bolliger, and Mabillard has filed a patent for what they are calling a surf coaster. There's been quite a bit of speculation as to what the surf coaster will be, but it is safe to presume it will be some kind of new model from B&M. Many people are leaning towards it being a more modern take on their stand-up coasters, which haven't been built for over 20 years now. This would make a lot of sense, as when you think about surfing, you are in a standing position, hence why many are suggesting this theory. However, could this mysterious new B&M concept actually be a take on the old 4th Dimension roller coasters built by Aerodynamics and S&S? I for one have always wanted to see what B&M could do with the 4D concept, and I would be really excited to see what B&M could offer with their version, which would likely be much more comfortable and efficient than these older models, even if sacrificing some of the intensity. That being said, I'm not so sure that's what we are looking at for SeaWorld or Orlando, or if the surf coaster would even be anything like that. Of course, this is all 100% speculation, but given the recent history of SeaWorld Orlando, I would not be at all surprised to see a standard wing coaster from B&M come to the park. Now, another possibility we have too to look at that I think would be a likely option as well is a dive coaster. Of course, SeaWorld San Diego, 
is getting Emperor their new dive coaster for 2020. So a dive coaster would also fit very well here, being another very large popular B&M model. Although I do personally think a wing coaster at the front of the park would be much better, but that's just my opinion. I think either would fit the lineup very well, and they would also look fantastic along with a new updated front entrance gate. What do you guys think about this latest site work filing for SeaWorld Orlando? Let me know in the comments. Do you think it may be something else entirely? Also, would you like to see me go more in depth about the surf coaster? Let me know all of that in the comments. Be sure to like this video and subscribe for more roller coaster and amusement park content on a weekly basis. Be sure to like my page Coaster Daddy on Facebook and follow me at Coaster Daddy Official on Instagram. This is Coaster Daddy. Bye.